So I better move this nugget out. Hello everyone, welcome back to the videos. It's wonderful to have you guys here again as always. Uh, today, in this episode of Confed Boost, I'm gonna get some more done on the BMW again. Um, I was hoping to take this out for a drive. However, been a long weekend and uh, oh, excuse me, all the, the police activity around. I don't want to take it out and risk getting defected, fined, or all of the above. So, won't be any driving of this thing this weekend or this video. So, I'm going to get some work done on this BMW. Um, I have done a little bit on it off camera. I found the rear uh, brace for the diff, refitted that. I haven't done anything else with the exhaust. However, I have ordered another one of those mufflers, another V-band and another bend. So hopefully soon I'll be able to V-band it there, continue it on to the back, fit the other resignator somewhere in here. Um, so I'm looking forward to when that arrives. I've also got a few other bits and pieces on order for it. All right. So, seems all my GoPro batteries are dead. Which sucks. I'm an idiot, but anyway. Um, I came out here off camera the other day. Excuse me, drive belt. Um, yeah, I came out here off camera the other day. I fitted up the brake booster hose. So there's no longer that giant vacuum leak for that. Um, I ordered a fitting for the power steering pump, which is down there. It has a 90 degree on it at the moment. I was mocking up a few things. Um, so I got the power fitting for that. I've ordered a fitting for the rack. I'm just waiting for it to arrive. So I think what I'd like to do today is I'll get the reservoir mounted over here the, on these two studs. There'll be a nice spot for the reservoir to sit. It'll be easier then to plumb in the, the hose down to the pump feed there and then the return back up somewhere. So I'll get that fitted up. I'd like to get the heater hoses fitted up. I went and brought just a factory Commodore heater hose for there, which will run off to there. And then I'll barb it from there over to the heater core. Um, and then, yeah, this one I'll just run a straight hose around the heater core over there. I did find the original, I did find the original heater hoses. Um, I was thinking of trimming them back and using some bits of it, but I think I'll just make the hose fit over those barbs. Um, that's just too complex. And then I'll get the intercooler fitted up today. I'd like to try and get the oil cooler fitted somewhere as well, and then refit the bumper, make sure all of that fits. Uh, we'll see how we go for time though. But uh, yeah, first things first, I want to get the heater core plumbed up, then that way I can get coolant in it. Um, that's also a problem for future me. I'll get the power steering reservoir mounted. I'll mount the map sensor. I did go and fit this uh, rear scuttle panel back in the car. I found and fitted that. I've got to try and sort something out with the alternator. I think I'll just loop the excite wire back over to here on the post. And that should give it charge. Um, but I can't start and run the car with the alternator belt or drive belt on it until I sort the power steering out. So then it's not uh, running that pump dry. And I'd like to sort that oil cooler out as well so that I can I can finalise the plumbing for the transmission, I can put the wiring on it properly and yeah then we just got to organise the charge piping. Anyway, I've got some hose clamps so I'll get hose clamps on all of these uh, coolant hoses and then we'll work on getting all of that to work. 
should be pretty fun. Hopefully, it's not going to take me too long. Uh, no, on this car and the way it has been this whole time, though, I feel like it's going to take forever. Anyway, get the camera set up and I'll get stuck into it. This one should be fairly easy. This is just a factory hose. I think the hard part's going to be trying to route it around in a way where it stays away from all the important stuff. Something like that. Maybe. Maybe I'll try and cut it a bit shorter.
Well, they are annoying. Will they come out though? Maybe I'll get me out there. Oh. Don't know about this one yet. No, only cool piping's gonna go there. Not enough room at the front. Don't really want to put it in between. Could put it there, that's the wrong airflow. I think this will have to wait.
Alright, well, that, that's where I'm going to end it today, guys. Um, I'm pretty happy with the progress that I've gotten today. We've got power steering reservoir mounted. All the uh, coolant hoses have clamps. Heater hoses are done. Got a hose on the power steering reservoir. I fitted up that eBay special fan to the radiator. Hopefully that'll be enough to keep it cool. Um, just quickly neaten up that bunch of wiring that was dangling there. Um, brake boosters on, map sensors mounted back there. I've got to block off this little, there's a little tiny barb on the back of these intake manifolds. I've got to block that off. So I'll have to get a cap or something to block that off. I'm going to have to drill and tap this compressor cover there for the barb to feed the wastegate. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm pretty happy with the progress that I've gotten today. Um, oh. The intercooler is also mounted. I know I probably should have done four mounting points, um, but those two will be enough. It's some fairly thick alloy plate. There's one either side of it. Came up pretty nice. Pretty happy with them. They work the treat and do exactly what it needs to do. Uh, with that mounted, I can now start working on routing the the cooler piping. I'll probably do this side in one piece because it'll be fairly short and fairly easy to get down and around and in and out of the car. This side I'll probably do in two pieces. I'll do around to here and then I'll put a silicon joiner and then I'll do up to the throttle body. Um, yeah, not sure when I'm going to be able to get a start on those. Um, I've still got to make up some sort of little catch can for this guy. Um, he can wait, there's no real rush on him. Serpentine belt is back on and now means I've got to go and make up my high pressure power steering hose and then I've got to make up the return back to the res and then it can be filled full of uh, DEX3 and the red air can now be full, uh, filled full of coolant so I'll get a thing of coolant, fill that up full of coolant and I'll make a little bottle here just something small for a overflow. Uh, yeah. Anyway, that's where I'm going to end it today in this video, guys. Next video will probably be more back on this thing. I'd like to try in the next video to start and run it and let it do a full heat cycle. Um, that also means I've got to work on the wiring a bit better, try and get it wired up a bit nicer, and wire up the wideband. Um, which I haven't finished doing yet, so I think I'll get a couple of days this week sort of in between a set of manifolds, so I'll I'll spend the time then, I'll mount the wideband and make up that hose for the high pressure power steering and the return put some coolant in it and some power steering fluid and yeah, we'll go from there, I've got to also, I'll block off that Barb on the back of the manifold. Um, but yeah, it's just coming along pretty nice. There's not too much left to do on it now. Uh, and then we can see if it'll drive. What I'll do off camera, I'll fit up the selector. I don't know what the technical term is for this thing. Um, it sits on the side of the trans. I think it basically shows it whether it's in park drive, one, two, three, or reverse. So I'll slap that on the transmission quickly now when it's back up in the air so that I can under the bolts and drop the back of the trans back down to get to it. At the same time I'll plug the wiring in that I should have plugged in last time I had it down. And then yeah, with the rest of the stuff that I'm going to do it should be able to move out of the shed by itself. Hopefully the next time I start it up. Don't know when that's going to be. Anyway. Thank you all for watching, don't forget please leave a like and comment down below, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and yeah, 
Apart from that, don't forget, unleash the boost. See you through the world. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.